So, recently talking to a friend of mine, I have a bit of a ramble today. So, I was talking to a friend of mine, he does a lot of maintenance work, and he recently got called to a job to redo the epoxy floor on a particular building. And that building was a funeral, funeral place, a funeral parlor? Funeral parlor, I guess. In particular, in the morgue. Now, you can't help but think that's such a strange place because they, once you're out of your body, done, gone, because you know, don't forget, we all have a use by date, every single one of us, we just don't know when that day is. Now, going to a place like that, I didn't go, but obviously he went, that's his line of work. Um, and going to a place like that, it would certainly make you realize that we actually do. Because I think as a society, we certainly forget that we all have a use by date. It all ends eventually. Every single one of us. Not one of us gets through. Not one. And it certainly makes you think about life. Because we work a lot. Um, especially myself, um, I have my day-to-day -day business which runs from 7 till 5.30. I have two other businesses outside of that. Um, we have a car rental business which runs 24 hours a day. Um, we have obviously the issues that come with that. Customer pickups, drop-offs at all hours of the day. Um, car crashes, cleaning cars. So it's a lot of work. And it's in the early stages, so we don't have employees. It's run by myself. Um, so I do all that work. And that's a lot of hours. Then we have a, we try and piggyback off that with a car detailing business, which we run at night and on weekends. Um, I have my wife, my three kids, the kids sport. Um, and it just makes you realize that it all ends. And I think we forget that it all ends. And sometimes we get caught up in the day-to-day -day of life and we get so busy trying to get to a certain point or achieve a certain thing that we forget that it all ends. And it could end at any time. And you say that a lot as you get older, um, certainly with people's health decline, certainly. Um, and eventually nothing matters. It doesn't. Eventually nothing matters. And all the stuff that we get worked up for and worry about, and you know, I deal with a lot of issues during the day. I'm in retail and customer service and uh, people get very worked up over a lot of things that just don't matter. And as you can probably tell, I'm pretty relaxed and pretty easygoing. You won't see me worked up a lot because I value that. I know life is short and it all ends for all of us at some stage. Now, on top of that, I have another friend whose wife has MS and every 12 months or so she gets checked and certainly times um, some results aren't as good as others and that absolutely makes you think about life as well and that situation and and I don't know I'm having a bit of a ramble because it's just on my mind and I have no one else to talk to you guys are it so I just want to make sure that wherever you are in the world that you're making the most of life because I want you to remember not as a bad thing as a good thing it all ends it all ends for all of us. We just don't know when. So it's up to us to make sure that every breathing minute, we are actually doing what we want to do. And this is the catalyst behind making these videos is I want to talk to people, inspire people and um, have these conversations. Uh, at 44 years old, I've done a, quite a bit during my life. I have some deep wisdom to share, I believe. And uh, by turning the phone around and pressing record in my office at four in the morning, because I wake up 
very very early because um, I want to get a lot of work done and I want to do this I want to do a lot more of this no I don't have a lot of time obviously um, but I make the time to do this because this is what I want to do. But it's a reminder that um, you know, life is short, life is very fragile, and you don't really realize until something bad happens to you how short a time we have. At 44, it feels like two weeks ago I was 24. That time has flo absolutely flown by. Um, and I'm sure the next 20 years will fly by and I'll be 64 if I'm lucky enough to make it that far. So that tells me that I need to be extracting the most out of every day. So it's a good time to reflect on what are we doing? Is it actually contributing to our life or is it sucking the soul out of us, I guess? And if you're still here watching this video, one, I appreciate it. Um, and two, just take five minutes today to have a think about where you are on your life's path. If you have a big mortgage and it's stressful on your family, why not sell the house? Go to a smaller house, take some stress off, quit that job that you're keeping because you need the money and go and do things that you want to do. One thing I've always wanted to do is sell a few things, uh, take a caravan, take a year off, and just travel around. Just travel around with no end date, no responsibility, just go. That's one thing I haven't done yet, and I don't want to get to the end of life and regret doing those things, not doing those things. Uh, one of those things on my list was, uh, obviously I'm an NBA fan, particularly Chicago Bulls, one of those things on my list was sitting courtside in Chicago to watch an NBA game. And I did that. Cost a lot of money coming from Australia. While I was there, we watched 13 other games. That's why it cost so much. But it was, that's an experience that I will never, ever forget. I will never, ever forget that feeling. And I do forget feelings of working so hard. Uh, but I'll never forget that feeling. So, I don't know, maybe it's a reflection of my own life at the moment. I'm doing a lot, and it just makes you wonder why, when you should be doing a lot more experiences and less chasing of the stuff. Because eventually it all ends, and the stuff doesn't matter. The experiences matter.